we trust God, this confession will mark a new beginning for men in Jesus' name. Amen. See you there. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. If you saw Brother Mike doing that, that means no man has any excuse. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody this morning. We thank God even for a wonderful time in the presence of God in the last 90 hours. God indeed has been good. I have the privilege this morning to collect our tithes and our offering. The Bible tells us that the God that we serve, we know that is the source of all good things. I want to encourage you this morning because God is able to make all grace to abound towards you so that you may have an all sufficiency to abound to every good work. If you are giving your tithes, I would like you to please rise up because this is a covenant that you have. The Bible says that we should bring in all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in his house. Your tithe is a tenth of your income, whatever, wherever it comes from. I want you to go to the Lord and begin to speak concerning your, side, your tithe. And also, your offering is a free will offering. And the Bible also tells us that we should not come before the Lord empty-handed. So I want to encourage you to rise up this morning and give something that is of what to the Lord. If you were to pay for the year that you breathe, I'm sure you'll probably be so broke, okay? But this is year that is freely given unto you. So I want you this morning to talk to God concerning that which he has blessed you with and give back to him in return. Let's prepare our tithes. There are four different ways you can give. You can see that on the, on the screen. You can give by texting, using the envelope, going to the website. Begin to speak to your tithe. Begin to speak to your offering right now. Everlasting Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your faithfulness. Because it is you that you have been our source. The Bible says that the, the cattle on a thousand hills, they belong unto you, the gold and the silver. Thank you for that which you have blessed us with. Even as we give back to you in obedience and in return, oh God, of your commandment, we ask, Lord, that you open the windows of heaven and shower upon us blessing that we not have enough room to contain in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever we lay our hands upon, Lord, Father, cause it to prosper. Teach us, oh God, to profit and, Lord, give us the power to get wealth and let your face continually shine upon all that we do. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Amen. The Bible says, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think. Is there anybody here who has a thought in their mind? The Lord can exceed that. Go ahead and give God praise right now. I'm giving you a couple of moments to go ahead and have those thoughts. Go ahead and have those desires right now.
church amen thank you very much the choir for that um, wonderful remembrance that we serve an able God there is nothing that we need that God is not able to meet and able to exceed and I pray that in this season God will exceed your expectation in the mighty name of Jesus we want to give God glory for the grace and the strength that he has given unto us since Wednesday when we started the prayer phone Oh yes, indeed. He deserves all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. And it's my prayer that God will make it a true season of refreshing unto you. I said God will make it truly a real season of refreshing unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Henceforth you shall not be troubled. Henceforth you will have peace on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus. The laughter that God has put in your mouth, nothing will tarnish it. I said nothing will tarnish it in the mighty name of Jesus. Your laughter will be long. You will laugh long. You will laugh loud in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be a true season of refreshing in the mighty name of Jesus. That we give God the glory for the wonderful testimonies that we've had so far. Without any shadow of doubt, God indeed has been good. God has been good. I'm not saying it as a cliche, but I know what indeed God has done in the span of four days that we started this program. And I pray you will not recover from it.